Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial based research channel and um, basically um, I'm here to show you how you can um, start this research yourself. Um, I normally show the research in action but um, I've done quite a few videos now and um, basically I'm just going to be showing you the research results. I'll probably do a little bit because I can't help myself. Um, there you go. So if you are interested in um, starting this research yourself, then um, just go and watch the videos. There's tutorials and all sorts. Um, highly recommend it. Okay, right. Today we are going to be looking at the moon. Apollo 8, I think it's 1969. Um, the image comes from uh, the... I think it's the March of the Moon site, so um, it's quite cool. Um, you get a, um, I think you get about three choices in in the sizes of um, the photographs you can download. So uh, just be aware they come in quite large, um, which is very surprising for for this sort of uh, stuff. Um, the one I was working on came in at like 200 dpi. It was the medium size one. Um, and uh, if I think there's a tutorial on uh, which mentions about the um, size of your computer and what it can or can't deal with and stuff like that. So you have to be a little bit careful. Anyway, right. So I like these. Um, doesn't bear any relevance but it's the mission logo and uh, also I found this which I really like so uh, yeah pretty cool poster that right so this is the image in question um, and apparently this is what the moon looks like and we go let's stick some ambience on I don't know if you can normally hear this if you use speakers, but if you use headphones, then it works quite nicely. It just fills in the gaps. I don't like the silence too much. Okay, I'm rambling. Right, so this is the image. The photo. Um, and I don't know where it is. Um, someone will probably tell me. Um, but... It's terrible, 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 terrible. Let's just have a closer look. Um, you can see where it's pixelating now. Just wonder why I spend too much time talking about this stuff and things, but it's all it, it's all it's all relevant um, to understanding um, what is going on. I've done a lot, quite a few things on that. Very very basic. Um, it's. Uh, it's all about time and stuff like that so it gives you an idea and if you want to start doing this stuff you know part part and parcel of it is research and sort of understanding finding things for yourself and so on and so forth so what i've done here just to give you an idea of what we're supposed to be looking at um i've just put some basic contrast in here i wouldn't normally use that over the full image because um, it bleaches stuff out as you can see here so um you can see a little bit more now with a very very simple um what do you call it tool of sorts so okay let's get into the one we've done now for those of you who are familiar with the the method i use and the results have a certain look um and it can get a bit confusing. So I haven't done this whole image. What I can say is that whole image is uh, completely covered in structures and um, formations that look um, manufactured, um, constructed. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Okay, so we're going to have a look around. I'm going to point a few things out. And um, this 
image contains various levels of enhancement so the dark areas haven't really been touched apart from the the, the pre things that i do before um, i start the detailing and the tonal colors are i, I colorized it slightly i think it's um it's uh, color temperature and then you know you saturate it to whatever level you feel it's cool but I think this has a nice look to it right now this image is it's got a it's got a weird look to it um, and I've done some other Apollo 8 ones, Apollo 10s, and this covers a lot more, uh, a larger area. So it was taken at a, a higher altitude, I presume, sort of thing. And I'll show you, the closer we get in, the more blotchy it becomes. It's quite difficult to, to see anything. And you would say that this is, a, you know, it's a low quality image. Um, and all this squareness is just the way the the pixels are making up the image but I'll show you where the pixels start so these are the pixels that circle is actually 61 pixels wide so when I zoom back out you can see that the information in there is actually what is on the surface. Pixel anomalies normally they start on that level I just I just showed you. They don't cover the whole the whole map. And if that were the case then um, their digital software of sorts is um, completely wrong. I'm not going to elaborate on that can't be bothered. Right, so. And the reason I did, um, there are different levels of and things like that is because everyone sees everything differently. And um, you might see it at a uh, higher zoom or a lower zoom. Um, So what I do recommend is is pausing and just observing the image and taking it in because they're, they're, they're difficult to look at. You have to get used to the image. Um, I say this every time, but it's true. You can't just look at something, um, uh, especially if, if you're new to this um, and expect to see crispy, lovely 4K um, images. Uh, it doesn't work like that. See that I've started already. So we'll have a move around and we'll do some zooming in and out and I'll try and explain um, what we're looking at but straight away here we can see the familiar sort of terracing um, platform type structures with more structures on top of them. Um, this image is, I'm not sure what angle this was um, photographed at but um, we can see the tops if you look along here and there's a, a definite shadow underneath it so we, we, we're seeing part of the front of these structures as well so there is a, a 3D element to the picture I will zoom in and out, but um, like I said, this it becomes very blotchy. But it's all down to what size screen you're looking at this stuff on as well. It's difficult to um, uh, estimate what people are going to be. You know, I'm like uh, what, two, two and a half foot away from the screen, and this is this is looking good to me. You know, if you're on a phone, it might look terrible it might look quite crispy and nice um, you have to experiment so you can see the square 
elements of these structures. And um, something I always say, which we are finding everywhere, is um, there are um, like small platform areas which look like they have um, small domes or towers, um, antennae, whatever they might be. Um, and uh, you'll notice that if you look at the other the other videos. I'll just point some out on here. This isn't a particularly good example, but there's one here. Or maybe it's not. See, there's like a little bit sticking out. There's one here with another one with the, with the top that's shining. This could be a circular one. But I'll point things out as I go along. And as always, especially with the moon, everything seems to be connected. you're probably noticing you're following my cursor around so and to understand more to get your head around this because you can't um, not everyone's initially going to be able to see these structures so I do suggest going to have a look at some of the earlier videos which um, they're all quite long it's just that there's so much to look at um, and you can see the research in action and um, so you'll be concentrating on a small area and it will make much much more sense to you I'm still in the top corner we need to get a move on right So this is clearly not a um, dusty flat um, covered in rocks type sort of moon surface. We know there are mountains and stuff on the moon and things like that. I will show you the is it the Anadine Anadine mountains or something which are humongous and we never really we don't get to see any pictures of that. Um, we just get to see this rubbish um, and uh, you know they talk about researchers and people who study these but what the hell are you supposed to do with that it's amazing it's amazing okay so this area here is this area here let's have a look at it on this one is this area here so it look totally looks like a, a crater there's the center these are the crater walls and um, bleached out and this is the actual area so this is quite cool the, the way I'm seeing this is there's lots of structures emanating from the middle area so you have to imagine the size this is the top I'm not very good at explaining this stuff but I'm hoping that what you're looking at is enough to at least say you know what the hell am I looking at why are these images photographs producing 
these, uh, you could say, shapes. But they look constructed, um, manufactured. There's uh, no two ways about it. So here, when I was um, enhancing, I just followed what it was giving me. And you can see the quality is down on this. You are on a smaller screen now, it probably will, will make some sense. If you're on a massive screen, then maybe not. But like I say, pause and observe and just take the image in. There you have it. No one's ever seen that before. Well, someone has. Structural design. Built. very untouched. So you can see where the enhancement has finished, more or less. Oh, I must apologize for the uh, Miranda mistake. Um, someone emailed, emailed me and uh, pointed it out. And uh, I've just been doing so many moons uh, lately. I think I was uh, I was looking at a load of Neptune stuff and then did the video with Neptune in my head. So it ended up being Neptune, not Uranus. So apologies for that one. And you know, people have said, oh, I, I was going to do um, Uranus or Miranda and, and I hope you don't mind. Um, no disrespect or anything. It's just like, do what you want. The whole idea of this is to get people doing the research. Um, and if they don't even do the research, is to just start asking questions and stop battling with your brain. I do it still. Because this is not supposed to exist. And uh, yeah, just get on with it. More the merrier. Start a YouTube channel. Get on with it. You know, I, mean, I don't know what these other channels are trying to hide or why they're reluctant to speak to people or, or you know, um, do they see you as a threat? It's... Um, ridiculous so if you are another research channel and I think I've said this before um, and you are getting something out of these videos then uh, give us a shout a shout out
simple. It's not a competition. This area we're moving into is, um, I've just done bits and bobs, just to see if you can, uh, decipher it a little bit better, because it does get confusing when I do the whole thing, but it's, it's what I like to do, I like to get everything I possibly can out of these images. You know, the whole thing, the whole thing is, is about um, disclosure, finding out why the hell we've been lied to for so long. I mean, it's so obvious. It's not even the point of the fact of, is there anything on the moon? Uh, the moon is absolutely alive with activity. It's a lot to get your head around, um, and it's, um, I've spoken to people and stuff and about this subject, and, you know, the pe some people say, oh, I love that sort of thing, you know, it's like, like it's, uh, you know, just like a fun entertainment type sort of thing, and, and, uh, and that's predominantly how a lot of people view these and this sort of uh, thing. You know, I try and make it entertaining. I don't want to sound like I'm moaning. But I do. Um, but this is... You know, these are the biggest, biggest questions. And... Uh, You know, even those scientists believe the lie, and uh, it's incredible. So this area now um, is more or less where I started, and you can see how confusing it gets now. Um, but I left the gaps in the middle, so you can sort of see how this stuff is actually there. and how busy it is. And like I said, this image isn't brilliant. Um, and it depends what level you do look at this as well. It's, it's, one of the, it's another thing you have to experiment with. So I, I don't know lately if you, you've seen there's been a, a few vids you know, the moon with the flashing lights and stuff and things like that. And I saw one. And they were talking about these couple of, 
quite prominent sort of flashing flashing lights and uh, adjacent to it on the other side of the moon and you could just see dozens and dozens of them and uh, they completely missed it um, so in regards to that there are areas in this um, which definitely look like um, there is a light source of, of uh, some description um, but I don't know I don't know what it is but they seem to be everywhere and they seem to leave them in the in the images as well so it's quite weird I mean that's quite funny that doesn't look so much like a light source but more of a a reflection on something so I don't, I don't know I think I've just overexposed that one there It's at different levels of the zoom you can you can um, see the the structural layout it's quite organic looking you know and it's not in all the pictures that you're going to see lots of linear angles and stuff and things like that until you get much closer in this isn't a brilliant image for getting closer in but you can see some stuff that, that line there does that join up but it is one of those things you know once you've um increase the resolution and things like that that's what i like getting into the image and it's quite amazing some of the details that you can uh, you can get out so like i said not necessarily in this one um the other videos i couldn't tell you which ones or which moon or planet um but some of the details are <clears throat> Absolutely incredible. See that doesn't look like a light source but more of a, a reflection. Bizarre. See, there's another high point with something sticking out of it. Yeah, you can see the shadow.
clearly constructed. Just amazing. Mm -hmm. now, I did see some other bits peek. Ah, oh, there we go. keep going around stuff but it's the whole it's the whole thing There's just so much going on. these light light spots not sure what to make of it So if this stuff is made, who makes it? And if it's not made, is it because it's so dense all over the moon? Is it, and the scale of it as well, this is the mad thing. I mean, I'm, ju I'm just throwing some thoughts out there. I'm not saying it is or anything. Um, could it be a biomechanical life form that we don't even know about um, just covering the surface the sheer scale of it <clears throat> and if it is built by beings surely it would mean um, thousands tens of thousands of uh, workers I don't know I don't know.
mind boggling, but don't worry about <clears throat> that stuff at the moment. Just get used to the fact that these photographs um, are so edited and so artworked, so you can't see what's actually on the surface. And this is apparent on multiple moons and planets. Um, I think we're up to 17, 18 different places with uh, remarkably similar um, discoveries. Okay. Have I shown you enough? There's always uh, so much to see. Um, if you are interested in doing this, then uh, check the channel out. Tutorials, all sorts. Um, no tricks, no mystery. Um, just go for it. That's what it's all about. So as usual people, thank you very much and um, I will see you soon.